Okay, welcome to Outdoor Gear Repair. Recently I just bought a uh, tent at, at a thrift store and it was um, like five bucks. I brought the tent home, opened it up, looked in it, and I found out why it was five dollars. Normally the pole segments here, they have two, four, six sections. One of the pole segments only had four sections and it had a broken um, shock cord in there, missing two of the yellow sections. So what do you do with that? You could throw the whole tent away, which is, I mean, it's a pretty decent tent. It's an EMS tent. Or you could just repair it. So I figured, why not just repair it? What I have is I just found some old uh, fiberglass poles. Uh, actually, these actually came in the bag with the tent. I guess somebody else had the intent of trying to repair it but didn't know how. So I took the um, a couple of the sections of the black fiberglass poles and spliced them into the yellow one. But they were too short. If you look, the um, black sections, even the longer section of black, it's about, I don't know, four inches short of a full section of yellow. So I did the next best thing, and I just got <clears throat> the long section of black, one, and then a second one. But then I, oh, here's the second one right here. So this one would go into here. But then I also had to cut out a shorter section because it, the repair would be just longer than two of the black sections, so it was like two and a quarter black sections. So I got two of the black sections, and then just took a Dremel and Dremeled around and Dremeled right through the fiberglass. You don't want to try to cut this um, with like a kind of a any kind of a vise or anything like that because it'll just splinter the fiberglass. You actually have to. Um, I mean, maybe like a hacksaw or something would work, but. I find a Dremel makes a nice smooth transition so you don't get any fraying. <clears throat> what do you do from there? Well, you've got to feed the shock cord back through, and that's not always easy because even if I push the shock cord all the way through on this end, it still doesn't come out this end. So what you really have to do is you have to get some extra pulled out from, from the uh, other end of the pole so you have kind of like, uh, I guess, maybe an extra foot or so. That way when you feed it through, that's enough to come out the other end, which I think it will here shortly. Almost, maybe. And there we go, it's starting to come out the other end here. So I'll pull that one through, and I'll have to pull out some extra line. Now I've also got to get this through this, as well as this, and the other end has, you can see it already has some shock cord in it, so I have to splice it into this one. So I still have to get this through these two, which I think we can do. And there goes one through this end. So I'll connect that onto here, slide that down, and then the last section here we'll try to put on. I have to make sure I get the right direction, so that's going to go in that way. All right, there we go. comes out the other end right here. Now the question is, I mean, I've got to get it attached to this, but the question is, how do I do that? Because I still have to have a knot small enough that can go into here and fit into there nicely without obstructing anything or getting bunched up between them. So what I found that works pretty well is in scouting, there's a, this nice little one where you go like this, you just make a loop here, you put this through, you go around the back, and then you bring it right back through the loop. It's called a square knot. There we go. Looks kind of like that. And if you just pull on that, they pull each other through just like this. You can always trim the extras off the end. I like to get it nice and tight so it doesn't want to come loose again and pop that off. This one fits nicely into there. This one pushes down into there and voila, you've got actually hopefully the perfect length for two sections. So if we compare those, that would be from here to here and down to here, which is two, two sections of yellow equals, you know, two and a quarter sections of black. Now the poles are the same length. So I've got my, um, I guess, regular normal poles in there and that. I'm going to put the last one in here, last section of the fixed pole. Stretch that out. 
Oh, and the end down here, because it was just like a straight pull, I actually ran the Dremel over this to kind of narrow it down a little bit. So I brought the Dremel through here, narrowed this down so it would actually insert into this. And it fits in there quite nicely now, just like that. You'll see it comes out the back. But since the uh, top I left full diameter, only a portion of it slides through, just enough for the fly to come over and attach onto as well. And if you look at it now, <clears throat> Uh, basically a perfect match so there you go how to fix a pole and make a tent that somebody wanted to throw away back into a usable outdoor palace Voila.